Hello people, my name is Dennis and um, I just had this question from one of my viewers and he is asking he is asking this question now it's, it says he commented on this video and this is what he says nice database please stop moving the mouse around in circles i want to try to take it in sequential order take it out credit in sequential order let's say blah 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 etc i print my own tickets in batch when i have to create 100 tickets i want to number the tickets starting at number thousand how do i Create a column, take it numbers. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to do this one. How to do this one, and this one. Yes, you can um, do, you have to um, type it in or create um, the numbers as you go once it reaches thousand one hundred then you stop okay all right so let's let me open my let's open the blank database let's name this m s access sequential number Okay, we are here in a blank database. Let's say we're gonna create the ticket. So first we will need the ticket table. Table. Okay. So uh, ticket quantity. And this is the ticket number that's the number we're gonna change take it ID so this one let's just say a number let's switch to data sheet view and see yes so the first ticket number three quantity we have one the next one four let's add a uh, ticket price total this one will be a currency this one will be um, a calculated field. Let's put one plus two here. Let's save this. Let's come back into this calculated field and now start. Now we have all this here. We're gonna do some make a formula quantity times. The price is equal to the total price. Save. Say the take it cost ten dollars. Got thirty dollars. Ten dollars. No, this is five. Ten dollars. Okay. Let's total this and see. Got one twenty dollars right now for set issuing this ticket. Now we want to make this a sequential number. Let's go back to the video. Copy this number 
and I'll come back here let's go to design view we go to the ticket ID and we go to the format format is open column then I paste the number closing column then I put zero after the closing column I'll save this let's go back to data sheet view this is what we got right here so the next one issue 20 tickets then the number keeps going or this is what we can do go back to this and make this zero save this this what we got okay now let's close open it if we put ten dollars here now we, uh, we have three hundred and twenty dollars for selling four tickets okay we can make this price a default number so the currency currency the default value we can make it ten dollars save so whenever we issue three tickets in it knows that is ten dollars now then it keeps going each price is ten dollars no price discrimination all right I hope you find this useful let's go back here go to ticket ID open column the number closing column and the zero all right thank you guy for asking me this question